are back. It is Monday, which means that this is See If It Sticks, the news at Sticks. I'm Dan. I'm Dylan. I'm Ross. We're all back. Yes. Back together. Back again, as we were on Thursday. Yes. This is exciting. There's two podcasts in a row. We've all been here. Yes. Yeah. Two whole entire podcasts. And uh, this How long week... have I been away? Was I away for two weeks? Dos. Ooh, One. Two weeks, I think. Yeah. I can't remember now. Actually, a little no. while longer than no, that. No, I was here the one before that. By I'm you? sure I only missed one. Oh, yes. I think, you missed I, think I did only miss one. Yeah, yeah you did, yeah. Yeah. Um, well, yeah. We've got an interesting thing this week. Oh, um, I like interesting things. Uh, it's Is a, it quite interesting? It's a bumper. It's already stuck. Oh. B- a bumper edition. Does that mean many already stuck? Is, is yes, yeah, yeah. And uh, this is actually could be coming actually with. comes from our good friend Lauren, who tagged us in a article the other day, which was about little brilliant inventions that make our everyday lives easier. Ooh. So I thought we'd sort of go through the list and uh, do a quick analysis of each one, while in the background my mobile phone. Receives messages. Yeah, Nokia. Probably here. Yes. <laughs> Dan's burner. My burner phone, yes. My, my, my secret of a line like Walter White in <clears throat> Breaking Bad, except I don't hide it, in, hide it in the ceiling and it's not to deal drugs. It's just to get Twitter verification messages for the 20 Twitter accounts, which I administer at work. And there we go. And yeah, there's the explanation for that. Uh, I'm going to start us uh, where most people tend to begin at number one. Uh, it's quite, a, I believe, is the favoured number to start at number eight. Oh well, I normally like to start at a minus five, but okay. Well, there's not enough pieces. Is that like a prequel to the prequel to the proper numbers? Yeah, yeah. It's not quite as good, it's and like it's got a, a lot of politics in it. But <laughs> it's like getting a run up to the actual content, isn't it? Yeah. So once I've got there. I can really go forward with it. Yeah. Uh, okay, I can start at minus five if you want. Yeah. Uh, minus five, a pair of shoes, because obviously they <laughs> probably get better as they go on. A bit so, primitive to start with. So number num- minus five is not good at all, like right. in terms of what we're looking at. Minus right, four, right. the wheel. Number four, a broom with three bristles. Three bristles. Oh. Number minus three is a t-shirt with only one armhole. Not very useful. Is for a one armed person. Minus two is a t shirt with no armholes. <laughs> for someone with no arms. arms. Yeah. And number minus one is a blackboard who has that has been so heavily soiled that you can no longer read anything written on it's it. It's kinda of gone a bit white. Yes. Yeah. Do you have a zero after minus one? You gotta have a zero, zero. surely. Yes, and zero is a hair clipping. With a toenail clipping wedged into it. Oh, that is... It's quite the mind picture. Word picture. Number one is a restaurant table that See has... See what you mean, Dom? He's like properly rushing, run into it now. Like, yeah, he's... You know, now energy. he's at number one. It's like, yeah. we're already going. Straight in. I'm yeah. already good to go. Except we're building the anticipas. Yeah, no. that, that was a, a fine piece of um, foreplay. Yes. Except we interrupted him. And yeah. just... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, go on. So it's a table that you have at a restaurant that's got a little hole, like a little bit like a, like a cartridge sort of thing. Oh, no, right. Oh, okay. So you can slip your phone in there, and then you're not going to spill food and drink on it. Oh, so like a little nook. It's got a little nook there. Yeah. Does mm. someone clean that out? Because surely that get full of food. I and can imagine it will finger, get full of full finger of food. germs. Um, in this particular image, the table seems to be made out of pennies as well. It's one of those. You know, like they've made, made, a, made a penny table and like... Oh, so you can still see oh, your you phone. You can still see the phone through the top yeah, of the so table. Well, still, that is useful. Yeah. Except for you obviously won't be able to use the phone through that piece of glass. Uh, and also, I think it's really fucking rude to have your phone out for a whole, <laughs> whole, of, whole of dinner. That's true. So, yeah. I like uh, the idea of there being somewhere you can put your phone. But yeah, pocket. Maybe, yeah. That's true, a pocket yeah. or a bag. Yeah, so I mean... Uh, it could and, be a business lunch though. I and mean, then you have to see it, don't you? Yeah, you won't be able to use it though. Like, you know, God, the company director's calling. I'm just going to uselessly pour at this table that's got covered in soy sauce and not be able to get my phone. 
Sounds like you're talking about that out of experience, Dan. Yeah, I, I went for ramen the other day and got 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 sauce all over the table. Where did you have ramen? Um, at uh, Happy Samurai in Canterbury. Oh. Fucking delicious. Is it good there? Because it kind really, of looks a bit shitty. Really, <laughs> really, really It looks a bit budget, doesn't it? Like looks the, the really graphics. budget, but as you know, I like Japanese food quite a lot. Holy moly. Um, um, was it a big bowl of ramen? Was it a big bowl? Huge. Oh, okay. in, fact, in fact, a friend of ours, Chris, recommended it. He went there. And uh, I went down there with Maddie a couple of weeks ago and sort of foolishly thinking, yeah, usually when you get ramen, you get like a sort of a quite a small bowl. And I thought, uh, so we, we both ordered a bowl of ramen and both ordered a side of um, some like gyoza like dumplings, like mm. some chicken ones and some pork ones. Mm. And um, the pork yoga. and this, this ramen, I ordered the, the hot ramen, which was fucking delicious, which already had like minced pork in it. Did but then I, then I, yeah. Oh. And I asked for extra beef on top. And uh, I was so full after it. We could we could could barely eat dinner in the evening, and mm. we had we had it at lunchtime. So yeah, very very highly recommend Happy Samurai in Canterbury. I'll have to go down. Delicious. There. We went back there the other day, and I had some. We just had some bits. Did so you like donburi and I had stuff some like that sushi. as well? Sushi. Um, Maddie has some chicken and um, that, that sort mm. of thing. Shrimp katsu. She had. Was, nice. was very very good did I do a decent Kazi curry in there very nice mm. yeah if only this was being sponsored because that was almost like a perfect product placement yeah then you could well, swoop back through yeah. problem if too. anybody's interested in advertising with us that's the sort of level of yeah. advertising well maybe yeah. I should I mean I should just anonymously send this to Happy Samurai then maybe I'll get a discount in there get free Raymond they do great beer well, Raymond well. <laughs> Raymond Rayman got a free, free Rayman, Rayman. <laughs> hey give me Rayman <laughs> I used to love that game yeah Rayman's good it's hard yeah for a makes me hard uh, okay so we're gonna say fuck these guys because um, it's not really happy samurai rude, no not happy samurai these these hipster table people yeah fuck them and the fact there's pennies on the table anyway it's just get hipster your, all get over get your goddamn it? phone away make it out of wood yeah okay. how are they gonna Instagram their food if it's not out Dan exactly on the continuing on the food theme this is number two is a picnic bench which has an overhanging piece of the top of the table which allegedly is for wheelchair users to wheel wheel themselves up to, so they can enjoy dinner at the oh, end. So it overhangs off the end. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I got so that. Here's, it, well, here's a picture, but like, we'll have to explain it. For oh, yeah. So it's a, your regular style picnic bench, but the top of the table goes on it's longer, longer than the yeah. bench part. Yeah. yeah. I like what, that. What, you like that? That's yeah, cool. I like yeah, that. That's I think a good idea. Good idea. Okay. Even if it was an accident, it's a good idea. Do you think someone just forgot to cut that off and they were like, uh, I did it on uh, purpose? Yeah, it's a disabled uh, bench. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, wheelchairs. But then saying that, though, if it's that much, it might tip over a little bit, so it has to have some sort of extra design weight at that's, the other side. That's Those like, things always fucking tip over that's anyway. That's I imagine it's, it's, it's going to be easy, very easy to tip over. Oh, do you know where I um, had a slight problem with a picnic table the Go other on. day? Uh, the weekend, the bank holiday weekend, me and Jen went to Chiselhurst Caves. Okay. Highly recommended. Six pounds. Um, and you get little, like, paraffin lamp. <laughs> this, this episode of Sea of Sticks has been brought to you by Happy Samurai and Chiselworth Caves. Now, you get a little, like, um, an actual, like, old styly oil lamp. And it's proper oil. Yeah, yeah, So yeah, if you yeah. drop it, you're going to burn yeah, you're not allowed, to you're not, Yeah, you're not allowed to... Well, it's, a you know, a cave, so there's not much flammable just down take, there. take a canary down with yeah, you Yeah, just well. take a canary down there with you. Um, and um, they're, not, they don't, they're, like, serious about not handing it to any kids or anything like yeah. that. But you walk around and then, like, basically, you don't. There's no like floodlights down there or anything. You're just seeing it by the. That's really cool. Really cool. It was used as um, a shelter during the war. Yeah. Um, and all the stuff's still down there. Wow. Cool. It's really cool. I'd recommend. Have it. you ever done the Dover ones? The wartime yes, tunnels yeah, yeah, and all yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. They're the really cool, aren't they? Tunnels, yeah. Hmm. Very cool indeed. Interesting. Hmm, I'd recommend it. So we like the disabled table. We do. Yep. Disabled table. Disabled table. We've got a brand name as well. Uh, this one says a soap that has no middle. So stop it getting so small you can't hold on to it. It's essentially a bar of soap with the middle removed. So you're getting less soap for your money. You're getting less I feel soap like for I'm your money. Getting done here. Is it a soap on a rope? It's not a soap on a rope. It's not a rope of soap. A rope of dope of soap. Rope of dope of soap. Is it like Parallels where eventually they'll sell you just the middle? Maybe, I don't know. Is it, is that, it, wouldn't that just be a, a small bar of is soap? Is it like a yeah. donut? Then? Uh, yeah, it's yes. just like a donut. A soapy yeah. donut. Yes. So what's the point? A soap nut. <gasps> What's um, the point? You because you don't slip. It doesn't slip out your hand. In well, I, I don't know. It said so you can it, put your cock through it and wank. It, That's what it is. It claims that <laughs> it is so, 
uh, my penis has, has never no been so like, clean. To, to stop it getting so small that you can't hold on to it. But I can see what's going to happen is that one side is going to break and then the whole soap is just going to fall to pieces, I can imagine. Mm. Let's see. It takes a whole new level of picking I was, up the soap. I was going to put it down as a no, but now that Ross I'm has not. mentioned that you could put your penis through it. Yeah, see, I'm not, I wasn't overly chuffed with the idea, but no, yeah, penis. Instant lubrication. <laughs> yeah, penis. But yeah, penises. Yeah. yeah, I like penises. Okay, well, <laughs> we'll move straight on from there then. Um, and this is a silent alarm in this taxi to tell other drivers if there's trouble, I suppose, for the taxi driver to alert other drivers to there being trouble. Well, so they can all fuck off and ignore them? Well, I don't know. It, it seems to be do? like a little light flashing at the back of the car that says, if lit, if, if something, call 911. So basically, if like someone's holding him up for his cash. Yeah, I guess or so. Or what yeah. recently happened. So you see what recently happened to a taxi driver. I think it was in like America or it might be in England. I don't know. Had his gear stick stolen. No. Um, he ran out of fuel. He had his gear stick forcibly Ooh, played upon. No. Um, basically, this guy and this girl got in the car and the girl got in the front. And sat in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> no, and, um, then the fella from behind like um, put a knife to his neck and the girl and all I read in the article was the girl performed a sex act on him and um, they got done for rape wow yeah. as, as they should well, yeah. yeah quite rightly yeah. Um, yeah so that's some like hardcore like cuckold shit going yeah. on yeah it really is we're gonna go get a, going to get in a taxi but what, uh, you know like not trying to make light of what was obviously a very harrowing situation from the for the guy wouldn't it have just been easier for them to go do you mind if my missus does something to you yeah um, while I watch I'm sure if you get enough Ubers eventually you're going to find a weird one yeah and surely there's like there's, you can or like, maybe the knife was part of the kink I don't know surely there's yeah. there might yeah maybe but there must be like I don't know, there must be like swingers clubs or something you can go to if you want to like play that scene out. Yeah. Surely. Or maybe they were just so high maybe that just, they thought it'd be funny. You just, you'd always know it wasn't real, I guess. So maybe that's why. Yeah. Poor well, fellow though. Yeah, that's And now good, they're fucking it? in prison, I'm sure. So great. Sure, it's totally worth it. Yeah. Weird. Okay. Well, that got dark, so we'll, we'll scratch that one off. Sorry. Well, no, I think it'd be useful for that situation. Yes, well, yeah, <laughs> would, would be useful for that sort of situation, yeah. yeah. Um, number five, the hotel alarm clock that shows the time on three sides so you don't have to turn it. So it is like a normal alarm clock, but on each of the sides, it's got the time as well. And this is useful because... Well, because then you don't have to turn the clock to see the time, I suppose. But wouldn't if you already owned an alarm clock, wouldn't you have it pointing towards you? You tend to have your alarm clock pointing in the most convenient direction. It's a direction. hotel alarm clock, it says. So I guess it's you know placed over the. the Can I see it by the tea maker or something? Maybe. I see. Uh, I, 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 I see. get it. I mean, it's not. That's a no from me. Yeah. yeah. My problem with that. I wouldn't pay more for that if that came on my standard alarm clock. Fine. Yeah, but not. My more. problem with that would be that um, my girlfriend Maddie. Um, doesn't really like a lot of light in the room at night mm. and she really hates the clock that I've got in my room because it's this sort of old Sony alarm clock that's got giant green LED yeah. numbers on it and it does light up the room I must say but you know like when we went to Belgium a couple of weeks ago um, you know like there was a bright red alarm clock across the room but you know we have to cover up um, and at night, like uh, I have to have like a little card over the top of my Philips Hue because that lights up at night. There's so many things in my room that light up. I've just had to go around sort of covering them up. Little bits of Alex tape on everything. Yeah, try to yeah. try to minimise the amount of light in the room. So I can imagine that this would be three times as bad for. I prefer to sleep in absolute darkness, and I've got to say, sponsor number three. Um, I, <laughs> I stayed. <laughs> I stayed in an easy hotel the other day for the first time ever. Like one of the easy jet hotels. It's oh, like I've orange. seen those, yeah. And you have to pay more for a window. So being a tight ass and it was a work thing, I was like... You have to pay more for a window? Yeah. So I had a room without how cheap, a window. How cheap are they? That was that was at Earl's Court and it was 47 quid. So, so for London, that is fucking cheap. Yeah. Sub 100 quid is cheap, really. Um, mm. Midweek in London. Um, and that was a room with no windows and I've never slept so well because it was just black. And also you'd get the least amount of noise, wouldn't you? Yeah. 
Especially if you're in the middle of a big city. I wouldn't mind that. It was absolutely pitch black. Don't need a window. Oh. Don't spend time in my time no, in hotel. I, I literally, I was there in it for four hours. I was always interested but. in seeing those capsule hotels they have in sort of Japan oh, yeah, and yeah, China yeah, and stuff. Those, yeah. mm. um, they look really cool because they're really cheap. And it's just a bed on a bunk, basically. Like, it's almost like a submarine. Yeah. It's cool. Get your own little capsule and it closes over. Sounds cool. Yeah, very cool. Japanese you know, always do it cooler than everyone else. That's true. I've just realised that there is there's so many of these. So I think what we actually might have to do is like have a concluding part of this next week. Oh, okay. Okay, so, you don't want to pick the best ones, or no? Is there actually no, so no, many. No, no, no. I think I think I'm gonna make it two part. I'm, no, I'm enjoying. I'm enjoying I like this. I like I like interesting little inventions like yeah. that. Yeah, let's go. Let's move on to number six then. Okay. Um, How many are there in total? Nineteen. Okay. Okay. You can't half that. No, you can't. Uh, this giant fridge used for testing out winter clothes before you buy them. So basically, it's a little bit like... So you ne- walk into like a chiller. Yes. Like a, yes. So it's like in Sainsbury's the shop chiller. where you buy yes, the it's winter in, clothing. Yes, it's in the shop. You go and put your new coat or whatever on and then go in there to see what it would what be That's like. That's a really clever idea. That's good. It's a lot of energy being wasted, surely. but Probably. It says it's a, it says winter simulator. It says uh, test our outerwear in freezing conditions. That's cool. Not if I had idea. a snow machine in there as well, that'd be great. Yeah, you should get and snow machine, rain, rain yeah. w- wind, all those Basically, things. you just want the Star Trek collar deck. Yeah. But that's only hollow. It's not for reals. Well, no, it simulates heat and light oh, pressure it? and all, yeah, all that sort of thing. So we, we're going for the good one. I think one, that's, right? that's good. Is that the first good one so far? Yeah, I would say that's a good one. Yeah. No, one of the early ones was a good one. What was one of the early ones we did? The bench. The oh, yes, the table. bench. The disabled table, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we, we we like the big fridge in the middle yeah, of the, the shop. Yeah, big fridge. Yeah. yeah. Cool. And also, you could probably keep some sausages in there during the day. Well, if you work in when the shop, it'd there, be yeah. a great place to stick your all your sort of lunch and stuff, wouldn't it? Yeah. Oh, one hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, mind you, you wouldn't want customers stealing your sausages, though, would you? And they fucking will as well. Next oh. fantastic bloody idea. Um, <laughs> it's already decided. This is a little bit like the. Um, you know, we always go on about the uh, parking spots at Westfield Shopping Centre. Yeah, I got to experience those a few weeks ago. I forgot oh, to tell me you. Too. I forgot to tell you. With I the we went to Westfield with the lights. Yeah, and the little thing where you can see your car. Oh my god! It's the future, isn't it? It's the future. It is the future. Sponsor well, number four. This is even further into the future. This is a cafe that has got um, a little light above the toilet door telling you whether the toilet is occupied at the Fantastic time. Fantastic idea. So it's got one for female and one for male and it's got a little red light and a little green light and it tells you whether someone's in there at the time so you don't have to get up from your table just to get over there and find like the on doors. an airplane yeah i guess yeah. yeah yeah that is one of those things that annoys me in restaurants is getting up especially smaller like cafe type restaurants yeah. where yeah. they've only got one toilet for each gender um when they should be having a million apparently um get up. or just one or just one for, for everyone. everyone yeah that's cheaper that let's do it that cheaper. one let's do it that way um, not that I have anything wrong with identifying as other things I just think it's getting silly things what God, that terminology other things Dom <laughs> other other <laughs> identifying as something else other than the binary uh, situation our society presents uh, there you go uh, well put yeah, a well a well formed <laughs> tumblr post by me there um, I don't mind but when people are identifying as lesbian dragons that's when I start to get a bit weird you know? <laughs> well yeah. yeah I'd love to um, see that toilet it's going to have to be quite mount, a wide door yeah, to accommodate the wings the mound of, of gold <laughs> inside <laughs> yeah and you just have to go sit on it um, but yeah I think it's a really good idea um, yeah, because I, there's I nothing like worse one. than getting up in a restaurant and going up to one of those and just going gun, 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 and then having to stand there looking at people going ah, ah, are you enjoying your chips you have to yeah. look at the guy in the eye who's just come out and stunk it out as well he doesn't even say sorry um, number eight moving on the pen that tells you roughly how many pages you'll be able to write before it runs out so it's got a little gauge on the side you know where the ink sort of goes down on the yeah. pen oh, yeah. tells you how many roughly roughly how many pages you'll be able to write before it runs out sides of A4 don't know can't see that who writes things anymore well i do like to write things down however i very rarely write full sides of a4 so it would be absolutely useless have you ever had a pen and not lost it before it ran out of ink nope so there's no point same sharp but it's so wasteful isn't it oh uh fountain pen when i was at school i had a fountain pen i did yes which Mm. would would obviously run out of yeah but you'd always be undoing it all the time checking it wouldn't you 
Uh, not yes. doing your work. Yeah. Seeing one how time much you had I, left. One time I had a real panic because I put my ink cartridge in and it spurted in my eye. Yeah. And uh, I didn't know what to do. I panicked. I thought that I was going to lose my eye or something. But nice. I've still, still got it. I never had a fountain pen. You didn't. We had to Where have it's one. hard for a left-hander to write with a fountain pen. Oh, yeah, smudge Because you. you smudge. And you're going into the blade as well, aren't you, of the fountain pen? Yeah. There, there are left-hand, like, fountain pens designed for left-handed people, but you still smudge the ink. I mean, there's some sort of, like, pulley system so that you can write on a separate page with your left hand use it, but nothing comes out on the piece of on the piece of paper maybe yes. remote, maybe they should make you write Arabic writing. or something they write backwards right excellent oh yeah, yeah. that's a good they point Japanese you. do don't they do they do they yeah they I write didn't, I didn't know that I know that I know that Arabic is really you read backwards, a, yeah. you read a Japanese book from there like that wow yeah. do you know how okay. I know that manga comics because they come like that they come backwards they come backwards or forwards for them forwards for them yeah. backwards for us but yeah, um, I write a fair amount of things. I have a notebook. I keep a lot of notes in, mainly ideas. I write nothing. I keep it over and over again. Nothing, 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 nothing. All nothing. nothing and no nothing makes Ross nothing, nothing. It's been suggested <laughs> that I keep a journal. Yeah, really. Before, yeah, but that'd be an interesting reading in a couple uh, of years. That, that's exactly why I don't want to read back on it in a couple of years. <laughs> Took a if while. I kept it, I had a journal when I was a teenager, and I found um, it. Emo Dom. Yeah. Uh, about five years ago and I was just like the fuck is I was that? actually I I made sure that was destroyed to its very out I was actually listening to a podcast the other day about um uh this uh lady I can't remember what her damn name is now who has done um sort of like a lot of pioneering research into the teenage brain oh okay and uh, it's really interesting um about some sort of some of their findings about like what like things that are important more important to like a teenager's uh state of mind is, is obviously like peers and sort of um like there's a there's a bigger likelihood of taking risks particularly around peer groups and things like that and um one of the sort of things that she brought to this podcast that i was listening to was the the sort of like a journal entry from a girl who um from 1969 Man on the Moon. Is it in 69? 69, yeah. 68, 69? Yeah, 69. Where it was, it was, it basically said, you know, like, went to the mall, saw this, um, didn't fit into these clothes, bought new blah, 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 saw my friend, saw this boy that she's obviously got a, like a crush on and like, you know, he came over and spoke to me. Blah, blah, blah. Went through all these things, like things like that, like, uh, why didn't so-and-so talking to me, blah, blah, blah. And at the end, it was like, man landed on moon today. And like yeah. it's, it's really, really, really funny. Like seeing like how a teenager, well, it's sort of like an adolescent brain, I think, is what it, the the terminology was. Mm. Like sort of prioritizes things over other things, which is why you know basically the, all the research is kind of um, trying to point towards better ways of educating. You know, why? Right? The, yeah, finding the, a way to engage. Well, the essen- essentially mind. saying that you know you're not most people aren't in a state of mind. Uh, sort of between 16 and 18 years old to make a decision like what am I going to do with the rest of my life absolutely and, not no. and to kind of you know you, you, I mean I, I didn't know when I was at school most of my friends didn't know I still I had, don't know I had a few I had a few who, who really had like some idea of I want to do this or I want to do that mm. did they do it I think some of them have yeah, yeah good but I, I, th- I think most people were just sort of you know playing it by ear you know I, it's like one of those things isn't it you know I'd love to go be able to go back to school knowing what I know now well, yeah, everyone oh, you'd would bitch wouldn't you? Yeah, you know, I don't, I don't know. I don't know how you know. That, but that's the thing, you know. You kind of the reason that you sit there and think to yourself, I don't know how I had such a hard time at school, like yeah. you know, because mm. you know, but like you say, it's that teenage brain. You didn't give a fuck about it. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. All those raging hormones. Yeah, yeah. But that's that's what they essentially. That's what they've typically put it down to hormones mm. like they've always believed that it's a hormonal thing hormones are changing it makes teenagers erratic apparently it's got it's got very very little to do with it really? it's actually a brain developmental thing because yeah. the it's basically i think it was because the um oh uh, they the other <laughs> I'm going to get all the terminologies wrong now. Basically, the bit at the front of your head, like the cortex sort Cerebral of thing. Cortex. One of those bits. Um, Frontal de- lobe. Develops, Frontal lobe. develops slower than the, like the, the older part of the brain, which is the, 
like the limbic system. The limbic system the is reptile what, part of your brain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which, which is slightly it's older. Basically, it's it's older evolution. It's an older part. It's the bit the bit of the brain that deals with like instinct and emotion. I yeah, think. basically. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. You never watched uh, what's it called? The Water Boy. The Water Boy. What? The yeah. Medulla oblongata. Medulla oblongata. Yeah, I have seen that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. So that develops, uh, yeah. that develops in adolescence faster. And because it, it develops slower and faster, does that mean it's just off whack? It's off tilt a little bit? I, I think that is kind yeah. of the, the suggestion. It's not... There's a disconnection it, between it's, your it's, higher Yeah, brain it's not it? quite as like black and white yeah. as that. It's just that you're, you know, it's a bit like someone who might have like a mental disorder can't, um, you know, someone who's schizophrenic, for example, they don't hear other voices in their head. They hear their voice in their head, but they can't differentiate it as their voice. They think they, that's the thing. And that is a, a the, the disorder is that they can't differentiate. They can't, they can't identify that voice as their own voice, as their own sort of like internal. So it's like when my brain says, oh, don't, oh fuck, I forgot to get something or, you know, yes, and they oh, can't you need dif- to turn left here. They, they can't, like, hello? They, <laughs> yeah, they can't, they can't identify that as being okay. your sort of inner in a monologue but yeah. Yeah. generally it's not oh shit I left my phone yeah. at home who was that it was more like you know you're a piece of shit who was that yeah um, yeah really interesting schizophrenia actually yeah, really yeah. That recently. That, that's Worry. for another podcast Worry. yeah <laughs> anyway uh, <laughs> back to more important things this urinal splash guard for protecting your shoes at number nine fantastic um, can fantastic. it in we have yeah. discussed Should we made this the last one and yeah, we do the rest yeah, of yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we've discussed this bomb before actually this, yep. it's, yes I think we which have is yeah. A, yeah it's a nice little angled piece of glass for when you take a wee in a urinal so basically the urinals become more like a toilet yeah a little well, you, I always think about you, right? You never really sort of, and I'll tell you what show made me think about the sanita- how sanitary urinals are. What was they're the only sanitary. Bang theory? They're only sanitary oh, right, you don't okay. have to touch them. Um, they're not particularly sanitary, I don't think. You don't have to. splashback. You get a lot of splashback, don't you? Yeah, yeah. because there's an episode of Big Bang Theory, and I'm not even a big fan of the Big Bang Theory, as we all know. I have a lot to say Big about. Bang Theory. Uh-huh. Um, but there's an episode <laughs> where Sheldon has to, like, owes... The little Jewish one, what's his name? Wallowitz. Roger. Howard. 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 Roger. <laughs> Roger. <laughs> Roger Goldberg. <laughs> um, and he makes him clean because he has all the fancy belt buckles, doesn't he? He makes him clean all his oh, belt buckles. Oh, yeah, yeah, And he yeah, goes, yeah. oh, these are the ones I wear to the bars. Uh, make sure you clean off the splashback. Yeah. He goes, what splashback from what? He's like, well, the urinal, you know. And I always used to think after that, Oh Jesus! Yeah, yeah, it's got to happen. It's got to, even if it's just minute particles of pee. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna and happen. It's always gonna be some. It's gonna be someone else's at least. Of my aqua vita. <laughs> mm. We're gonna pause that there then. Let's pause it. We're gonna continue that next Monday. next Monday then. Next Monday. Next time on See If It Sticks. <laughs> <laughs> How are we on fire? <laughs> Stop doing that, Ross! <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to conclude that next week. Uh, in the meantime, you can get in contact with us at stickitpod.com. That has got all of the links and details for how to send in your first world problems and we'll be back on Thursday to solve them for you. Uh, we will see you then. For this Monday, I've been Dan. I've been Dom. I've been Ross. Can you put in like the Star Trek Next Generation like to be continuous he goes like dan 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 that'd be great at the end sure cool